What's up, you guys? This is Donna. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I'm in the car. I am on my way to like one of my family trips. So I'm really excited. I'm enjoying my summer. Um, but I wanted to talk to you guys about like some reasons why or why not you should probably not get into PA school or try to get into PA school. Um, I was speaking with uh, an individual yesterday and they, you know, mentioned to me like, hey, I actually follow you on, Inst on Instagram, on YouTube. Um, and I realized, you know what, maybe I should take a pause and not go to PA school. Um, and so I wanted to make this video because <laughs> those are sometimes difficult decisions to make uh, and, you know, hard choices to make and, and do, but sometimes they're necessary and you have to be able to be honest with yourself. So let's get into this video and talk about some of the reasons why you may not be ready for PA school. All right, what's up, you guys? So like I was saying, I recently was talking to someone and they informed me that you know, they had kind of just gotten frustrated with the application process of PA school. They had applied a couple times and then they were like, look, I am done doing this. I just want to apply to a program and get in. Um, so, you know, they decided to not apply to PA school anymore. And that kind of just made some sense to me because I... I haven't been frustrated to the point where I'm like, oh, I don't want to apply anymore. I'm not going to apply anymore. However, I have been frustrated to the point where I'm like, you know what, this, is this really for me? Like, I literally had to like question and ask God, like, God, is this for me? And so in doing that, I want to just kind of talk to you guys about a few things that I have realized that you have to possess. Like, there's some characteristics that you have to possess to actually succeed in you know higher education specifically but more so like these healthcare based programs like PA school med school um nursing like all of these graduate programs okay so one of like the number one things that you have to do is be focused now when i was in PA school i literally had um a laser focus on my goal whenever anything would happen anything, any problems, any issues that I may have dealt with, just life in general, you know, whatever it may be, I would be like, okay, you know what, what is your goal? You are here for a reason. You're moving, uh, you know, three hours or so away from your home base. Why? What is that goal? Because of that, you have to stay focused because there are going to be times and there are going to be moments when you're like, you know what, um, this is probably not for me. This is so difficult. Why am I doing this? Like, why am I putting myself through this stress? Uh, and because of that, you know, you may want to give up. But at the end of the day, you're going to need to be focused and you're going to need to understand like, hey, this is, this is it. This is, this is my goal. My goal is to become a PA. Um, and if that is your goal, you have to be focused. If that is not your ultimate goal, if you cannot stay focused, then you know what? This might not be for you. The next thing that you need to do is be meticulous in your time management skills. Uh, I was a mom, a wife, and a student all at once. And, you know, obviously this is not something that is novel. There have been people doing it before me. There's people doing it after me. However, at the end of the day, I had to realize, you know, how am I going to manage my time so that I can actually have like time with my family, time with my friends, time with my kids, time with God, um, time for myself. And all of those various different times are essential and important. You have to be able to understand like, okay, you know what? I have to study. There were times where I, I was studying till like two o'clock in the morning because uh, as many of you know, I sell you know, like I observe the Sabbath. And so with respect to the Sabbath, I'm sitting up here and I'm not studying sunset Friday to sunset Saturday because I don't do anything that, you know, doesn't just edify me or bring me closer to God on the Sabbath. And so with that being said, there I would feel like, you know what, like I'm kind of missing out a little bit. There there are going to be moments where it's like, all right, I want to study, but I couldn't. And so I had to put that time aside and be like, all right, I am going to not do that. Rather, I'm going to study after sunset on Saturday um, and manage my time that way. Go to bed at like two or three, wake up in the morning again at like nine, um, hit the books one more time and study based on that, spend some time with the family, with the kids go out, uh, then come back and study. You really have to be meticulous in how you share your time and how you spread your time. 
And then the last thing that I really think that you need to be doing and need to be understanding is that discipline. Um, PA school is hard. Uh, if you get into PA school, there's no guarantee that you're going to make it through PA school. And so ultimately, it's about not only getting into, but through PA school. Shameless plug for PTC. So go check us out on GetVaccineUniversity.com. Uh, but that's, you know, that is our goal and that's our desire with GTCU. Uh, but in general, that is what you want. You want to not only get into a program, but make it through because you don't want to spend this money because it's a lot of money and you don't want to waste that money um, by not making it through. And so if you don't have the discipline uh, that you need, you should absolutely, you should absolutely take like a self-evaluation and a check and be like, all right, you know what? I absolutely don't have the discipline that I need to make it through PA school, even if I were to get in. So let's, let's not do that. Um, this is not for me. And that's okay. It is okay in understanding that, you know what, PA school is not for you or PA program is not for you. Um, I, I think it's important that we take that self-assessment and make sure that at the end of the day, you're being honest with yourself, okay? Um, there's a little shade right now because I'm getting an umbrella, but really and truly, these are kind of some of the things that you really need to be looking at and paying attention to when you're trying to get into PA school. So stay focused, have that good time management skills, and be disciplined, okay? If you guys have any other questions for me, please leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, follow me on Instagram at PA and on Instagram at GetBestie University. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!